I've had quite a journey. I've had quite a journey, and I feel really good about it in many ways. I've gotten to experience many things that I don't know if many people have. It's been hard. A lot of it's been pretty hard, not having too much and things like this, but with whatever I did have, I really tried to make the most of it during those times. What have been some of the highlights for you? As you're talking, you said you've seen a lot of cool things. You've done a lot of unique things. What, what comes to mind? Being with people is really cool and like sharing art and stuff and like experiences is really cool. But I've had a lot of moments where I've just been alone and like in nature or in the middle of the city or just just there and sort of like inside myself um, and just having thoughts or feelings that just being really in touch with myself too has been really cool too and like having those moments. Do you feel like you're still in that kind of lonely, lonely uh, mindset or is it, have things changed? I think I've always been like that in a way where, I mean, but I'm never alone. I mean, that's the thing. Like even when you're solely alone, I don't ever feel like fully alone, but I guess in relative terms it would be. But I feel really connected. I feel really connected with not only people, but the planet and just life in general. So I think those moments when I can just sort of tap into who I am or the thoughts I'm having or the feelings I'm having, it's like, I don't know, I'm thankful for those moments. Those are highlights where I can sort of like just kind of gain understanding. But then being around other people and interacting with other people in, in many different ways like also opens up those places of understanding too and things I would never would have thought or felt or what have you was inspired and brought on by just being with other people and listening to other people too so I don't know I mean so there's a lot of highlights there's really so many beautiful so many beautiful moments that I that I could really go on and on about even be able to like function to the point where I can actually make something is a highlight you know it's like Oh, I can actually move my hands and I can move my mouth and I can move my eyes and brain and everything is functioning to a point where I can actually make and create whatever it is. It's like, you know, and then just ex having emotions to express and in whatever form that it is coming around. It's like, you know, that's a, that's a highlight. Um, and to have been able to do that and find space to do that in different times and periods, it's like, I don't know, it just, it feels really good. And I, I, I don't ever really want to forget that, that part of it, just, uh, just almost like that fundamental, basic part of it, you know? Yeah, that's a good perspective, like starting from the baseline, like thankful for very basic things. It seems like it can be very good for your mindset. For sure, for sure, because then you get, I think a lot of times we get caught up in like, I don't know if, like, like why the reasons why we're doing things or, or get caught up in what we're doing so much and rather than like just the fact that we can, that we, we, we've somehow found it within ourselves and within like, or within a space or create a space or, or whatever, just the fact, the simple fact that that we can find ourselves there. Thinking less about the result and more about the experience, maybe? Right, right. More process-oriented, I guess, is a lot of people how they would say it, you know? But that's all, it all adds up. Like, when you walk through the city or you walk in the woods or you swim in the ocean or you're talking with friends on the couch or, or whatever it is that you're doing all of these things are adding up into whatever it is that however it is that you're going to express yourself creatively like being cognizant of that too like a acknowledging that everything that you're interacting with is going to have an effect on you and whatever it is that that you're that you do regardless I know it's it's interesting how 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 that is just as human beings or 
living sentient intelligent life forms or whatever just like just how one thing can you know connect you to another or show you another thing or you know you know this at this instance you notice this thing or whatever and then that points you in. it's just I don't know it's just really interesting to, and to kind of like like uh, knowingly or like know that that's happening is is cool to me I guess do you think that reflects in your creative process? Oh yeah, I think um, a lot of times like I, things will start as like a as like a vision or whatever. It's like a, I'll have an idea or a thought or it just pops in or a feeling or I'm like laying there in bed or I'm walking or somewhere and something will just pop in. Like oh that's that's a cool idea. Oh that that picture would be cool, you know. And then, like, once you finally get to, like, say you're doing visual art, then once you finally get to the thing, like, does that, <clears throat> are you, I don't know, I don't always, like, hold myself to it to be like, oh, okay, I got to make this thing that I saw exactly. And it's just like, oh, sometimes it's not even that at all. I just start doing something else entirely. But sometimes it's like, oh, okay, so this is kind of like what it was. But then just letting whatever, the breath, the sounds around me or no sounds or just, like, whatever motion my hand wants to do in a visual gesture or even in a musical gesture or something like this or or uh, when taking video it's like oh, okay and like moving the camera like and just like kind of feeling allowing life to happen and just be with be alive and be living and just feel that to the point you know so honey Do you think you could just walk her for 15 minutes? Thanks, babe. You just want to run around, huh? Well, she knows how. But it's the stay that she doesn't quite grasp yet. Do you have kind of like themes that you keep coming back to or, or a certain state of mind that you, you find yourself drawn towards sort of seeing like the unseeable or like hidden things like trying to picture like some sometimes it's like a journal sometimes it's like oh this is how this is this feels at this moment and then sometimes it's trying to grasp like what everything is or what I am or what life is and just sort of like trying to make sense of it in a way like in a, in a real search for understanding. And there are times when, like I remember thinking at times in my life, oh, I really understand things. Like, oh, I really know what everything's about. And, and then another moment comes along, it's like, oh, well, I don't know if I really do, you know? Like maybe I do understand things, but then I don't know if I really do understand things. It's really kind of a, I don't know, it's an interesting thing, like how, how understanding our knowledge is and it's like so it, it's like I never but it, then it's also just fun like I just enjoy it enjoy it too so it's like this search for truth and understanding but then it's also like what the fuck else am I supposed to do like this is a good time like this is like some of the best time that I've ever spent in my life doing whatever it is that I'm into at that at that moment you know so so, so, yeah, I mean, um, yeah, I hope, I hope that answered. Yeah, this is great. Okay. How do you know when you've found something that is meaningful or something that feels good to you? I don't know. Part of me wants to say if I keep returning to it and, like, continuously engage with whatever that is. But then sometimes it's a one-off, like, thing that I'll never do again, but it felt really good. I don't know. It's hard. I don't know. <laughs> I don't <laughs> I wanted to come into this and just like give you like the freshest. I didn't want to have any like pre established uh, like answers or, or thoughts and just like kind of go from the heart and like just sort of feel and even surprise surprise myself. And I, in a lot of ways, I, I try to do that with the with every day or like even creative things just like 
I won't know anything about how to work with anything like um, certain brushes or a certain computer program or something like this and just go into it and see what happens and just like see where, where the whatever that makes things happen whatever drives us and moves us and like whatever it will do with it and just see whatever it is that wh however it wants to use my instrument or whatever I am you know in moving the other parts of reality around and to be honest I'd like to make the world a better place in some way or another whether it's just being a freer person and just living your life or it's just being just being without you know being hurt you know just being just being sort of just make it better than a lot of the pains that exist in whatever way that they do in all the ways that they do and just sort of alleviating that somehow for the future and trying to inspire that in in people there's so much that we share in common and there's so much beauty to everything that we share and everything that there is that like hopefully the deeper parts of people the like subconscious parts or the the most inner parts of somebody will <clears throat> maybe if they don't understand what it is that is being exactly said and sometimes there isn't anything that's being exactly said but it's it's touching the deepest part of them and maybe that'll change them and they will interact with another person ultimately or or with the earth or with themselves in a in a more compassionate way in a more kinder way or in a, in a way that you know would be benevolent or beneficial or something like this you know what I'm saying so I think like that does inspire me a lot to try and make a difference and make a change and inspire people to look at people in a in a non-judgmental way or themselves in a non-judgmental way where everything's um, competitive in this world and it's always like uh, you know you know so I, I think a lot of that um, influences what I do is like trying to create harmony within myself even and going through whatever and within myself trying to find that within myself and if I can find that within myself well, then I can maybe show that to somebody else or share that in some capacity or some way you know and then maybe they'll experience it and then the next thing that they do or at some point in their life when they're faced with some type of choice of whether to hurt or to help somebody maybe they'll choose to help that's why it's like every little moment all these little moments like even if I'm not creating or actively having a pen or playing an instrument or singing a song or thinking in my head of a line of poetry or or anything like this like it like comes back to like every every moment that we're alive and existing is is like art and like appreciating that too and then having that kind of fuel and carry you on into whatever it is about that that you want to share if that if that's making sense it does yeah so someone i was talking to said like the moments where you get recognition are so few and far between it's like if you don't like what you're doing in between like if you don't like the actual act of the creation then what are you doing like you're you're torturing yourself All right right i love that and it's so so true i mean there's so many moments where it's like okay cool like this was like people enjoyed this or or whatever and and it's like all right but then like okay so that's done and I, I'm not one to like continuously return to the same I like you know I don't know I just can't seem to like stay on doing the same exact thing like I've been in bands and stuff and like or writing music and stuff like that right and it's like okay a lot of artists will go and they'll go tour with that band and play the same song over and over again a thousand, a thousand times, or more, a million times, how, how many ever times? But I really can't picture myself, I haven't been able to, to propel myself into wanting to do that. It's like, okay, so we made this thing. Like, what else can we, what else can we make? Like, that's, that's experienceable in a way. I mean, it's not the same as, like, being at a concert and, like, listening to your favorite person, you know what I mean? So I, I don't... That is still like a dream of mine to be like, okay, so we're going to make this band and we're going to tour and we're going to, you know, 
just like do this thing, you know what I'm saying? Which would be cool. But I don't, I don't know, but then the part where it was like, okay, I gotta play this same song. I gotta make sure the song that I write at that time is actually like something I wanna play like a thousand times, you know what I mean? And that's actually something I've been trying to work on. It's like writing this, writing this certain style, like this certain style of music where I'm like, okay, I could, I like listening to this. I feel like I could play it over and over and over again and be in that, in that zone, in that like perfect zone within myself and with everybody else, you know what I'm saying? Like that, I, I could do that. And, and so that's something I'm continuously working on, but I, it's hard for me because I'm like, oh, what's, oh, we can, what's clay? Oh, what's photos? Oh, what's film? What's tattoos? What's, uh, you know, a line and a form and a space and a color and, and a sound and just like, you know what I'm saying? So it's, I don't know. Do you think there's a point where it's you're just distracting yourself to avoid having to focus on something or is it like is there a way that you can tell like this is actually a good use of my time or do you even think about it that way? I don't know. I've thought about it that way at times, but then I'm also like everything kind of connects and feeds back into the creative process anyway. So whatever it is that I'm doing like talking with you and doing this interview or looking at this bird over here or whatever it is, it's all gonna channel back into it. So there's no point in me being like, oh, this is a waste of my time. Talking to this person is a waste of my time. Uh, going over here is a waste of my time and all this because you never know. And it's all of what you make of it, really. Like whatever you're making of it and taking from it and, and understanding from it, can be a perfectly fine use of your time and open you up to things that you never thought about before. So I think looking at it like that can almost close close you off from being like, okay, so I have to, I don't know. I mean, it depends on, what, on whatever it is that you're doing, it, I think, but I mean, and you got to do whatever it takes to do the thing that you're doing. So like, I, I know I wrote a symphony a long time ago and that, that took, like I had to sit myself down every day for at least an hour a day and be disciplined to that point and be like, okay, I'm literally just writing this thing. And I'd sit down and I'd write it for an hour and then I'd go for a walk and I just created this routine that would help me accomplish whatever it was that I was trying to do until it was done. As far as like how I've lived my life, like I, being distracted quote unquote, has led me into beautiful spaces and places. Like I traveled out west for a long time and went around to these farms and then was living in LA and now I'm out here for some years and I love it and it's like, and just, I don't know, if you if you got something in you that's trying to lead you somewhere, even like in a, in a paint stroke, and you say, oh shit, I fucked up. Like, did you? Or, or are you trying to show yourself something new that you never would have thought of before? and thus make it more, uh, and word, word choices, like make it more authentic to you in a way. Because often we're, we're comparing ourselves to other people that work in our same disciplines. So it's like, oh, is this paint stroke messed up? because somebody else said it would, would be. You know what I'm saying? So uh, rather than being authentic to yourself, I mean like, oh, I do or do not like this, whatever this is, is following the things that, that you might otherwise dismiss or be dismissed. Because a lot of people, you know, we really weigh and take a lot of weight of what other people think about us and, and feel about us and say, or, you know, especially in the creative, creative world. And maybe you don't like what you made. I got plenty of things that I look at and I'm like, okay, <laughs> I'm, so, I'm sorry. <laughs> it just makes me laugh. Like, I'm just thinking like, oh, what the fuck <laughs> was I doing, you know? But then also I look at it and I'm like, oh, okay, I see what I was trying to do and that's cool too. But then also it's like, oh, I don't think I'd ever do it like that again. But it was interesting and it was an exploration and 
you know, nobody else would probably do it like that either, which also makes it authentic to you, and which also makes it, in the art world or in the creative world, like, that can be a very valuable thing. It can also be a completely, like, ignored and unvaluable thing <laughs> for a lot of people, but at least, like you said, it's like that you're, you're enjoying yourself and you're living your life and you're, you know, just the process and the journey of it is, is really the point of, of why you, why you do it, you know, but also is like the other point for me is like communication and connecting with other people because so many things in this world want to keep us apart from other people who's a lot of what I've seen and keep us sort of at odds with one another and so to actually like make connections and to connect and to see things from other people's viewpoints through art. I know a lot of people inspire me and I see what they're doing and it's like, it's just so cool. It's just so beautiful and I feel like I'm like hearing the deepest part of them or looking at the deepest part of them. And there's no other way. I mean, why else do we do, why else do we create art as people other than to try and share like the deepest parts of ourselves or the deepest parts of reality or whatever, the, whatever you want to call it, you know, so. That's, that's inspiring. Cool. Yeah. I feel like that gets at the heart of it, you know, like why, why do it? Right. Because I think a lot of people have trouble with that. Like I was going to ask next, how does money play into it for you? For a long time, I didn't, I, I wouldn't even sell my stuff. I wouldn't even put a price on it. I felt really, I don't know, I felt really kind of. I don't know, but now it's changed. Like when I was young, like a, I don't know, I think I was a lot more, I, a lot more idealistic in a way. But when you have no place to go and you have no food and you have no shelter and you have no one around and you kind of like give up the world in a way because you're so idealistic, it's like <laughs> I don't know, man. There's 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 got to be compromise. There's got to be an there's got to be a balance to it. As long as I just get to make shit, <laughs> really. As long as I get to make things, and the, I mean, I have dreams and aspirations of making wonderful, wondrous, like crazy, crazy things. You know, like spaces and places, and you know, all sorts of things. But as long as I can move my hand and put a put a mark on a, on a page and understand something about myself or life like it's like okay you know so I don't know would it be nice to have a whole bunch of money maybe probably I think part of me thinks like yeah everything would be awesome if I were rich and I could just go anywhere and do anything and make all these things happen and make other people's lives better with it and all of this and be able to provide in that kind of way but I never would have been a lot of the places that I've been and I wouldn't have never met a lot of the people that I would have met if I would I think if I was in that uh, lifestyle I, th I think I just wish things were free <laughs> I think I just wish everything was free and like but we could still have you know be a abundant and like thriving and make everything but we didn't have to like I mean war we didn't have to war over things when it comes down to you know what I mean yeah so that that's what really gets me about it but so yeah it's like when it's supporting human connection it's like it's a nice way to like show appreciation and like put value on things and like represent your energy you know and stuff like that right. but when it's like this out of control like system that's just crushing people that's right. when it's like this abstracted thing that doesn't care about people anymore right that's what's fucking people up you know right but right that's <laughs> that's like societal you know the whole yeah. thing is fucked but and then you know i don't know if you felt like this but i know at points in my life it's like oh i'd like to create a whole new system a whole new government a whole new you know how do we make utopia like that is like driven i know i thought about that a lot when i was like in my 20s i guess sometimes i still do but it's just like, it's so huge. It's such a huge thing, and it takes everybody to, to make it. 
But I mean, or if is people would even debate me if it's even possible. I mean, I think I think it could be, to be honest. Like I think we could make systems and a society and a global society where it's effectively utopia. You know what I'm saying? Like at least pretty close to it if we really tried. We can do so many things, like make this camera. This thing looks impossible. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You you bring this to peoples around the world. It's like holy shit! Like what do you, you know, planes? We can make them fly in the air. Like why can't we make a world that's at peace and everybody's got enough and nobody's starving or dying or anything like that? You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. And I guess like a part, like the most idealistic part of me is like, oh, someone will see a, this picture and they have power and it will will all come together and, you know, sing Kumbaya and be happy ever after type. But I don't know. I liked what you were saying, though, about just having a positive instead of a negative effect. Right. Even that something, like it might change someone's day, it might change how they view a certain thing, right. it might spark an idea for them and that is kind of like a ripple effect. Oh, yeah, because I know that's what people that I've looked up to that have inspired me in my life and from ages before, I know that's how they felt. I know that they felt like if I just do this thing, like it'll carry on to the generations after me and that will carry on and that will carry on and until we're there, until we no longer have to even try to make it a good world, it just is, and we're all being fucking beautiful, you know what I'm saying? It's like, I know that's how they felt, and if I can be a part of that lineage in, in any little way, like, that's cool, you know? I find that to be, like, the coolest thing in the world, you know what I mean? So. What would you say to someone who's kind of starting on this journey of trying to find that? What, what would you say, like, you've learned? Okay, you don't have to think too much about it or overthink it. Like think, think about it. Definitely use your intelligence and in, in whatever that is, emotional intelligence. To use your, you know, thoughts. But you know what I'm saying. Don't overthink it. Just, just be and, and do it, and 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 bring people into your life that that are gonna facilitate that. Some people will try and shut you down too, especially in this world. So it's kind of like, just make sure you have a safe space within yourself and within your own atmosphere to, to do that, you know? Huh, Sunny. Huh, Sunny, Sunny. You having fun walking with mama? Look at my hair. You okay? She likes you. Yeah. Yeah, you like Christian. Hmm. He was really pulling me over here, like... <laughs> that must be the sign. Time to wrap it up. Yeah, I think so, huh? <laughs> Do you have any other thoughts that came to mind you wanted to share at the end here? Um, everything's gonna be okay. At the end of the day, everything's gonna be alright. No matter what you're going through. And whatever it is in this world, it's all gonna be fine. You know? Thank you so much. I'm really grateful. Uh, and, and to whoever sees this too, and engage with me in some way. I love chatting with people and love talking to people. So, you know, just, I'm here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So.